Hello and welcome to Axehead. Well, before you see pretty much all of my knives, you can see them all, but there is a couple over there, a couple over there that you can see from here. And uh, I just thought I would uh, show the five of these that I like the most, both from uh, quality, look, um, how they perform and everything. And I have chosen to put them right in front here. You should be able to see five knives right here. Let's start with this, a Nomark, super sweet. Uh, as far as I've been looking at, uh, there is two of them at the very least. There is an old version and then there is a newer, and I think this is the newer one. But I got it pretty cheap, and I'm very happy with it. Very sharp, very nice, very good feel in the hand. No blade play at all, and the lock is the hole for the lanyard. You have to push that in, and then you can lock the blade. So that's one. The second is this Herbert's outdoor slash survival knife with a wooden grip, which I really, really love. Uh, the cool thing about this is, as well, the survival part is the um, emergency whistle and the ferro rod, so you can start a fire. And it is not in the way of using the knife at all. Very good feel in hand. Tiny, tiny amount of blade play, but almost nothing. We have a lock here on the back and a clip that you can take off. You can't really put it anywhere else on the uh, knife, but you can take it off if you want. Then we have um, another Herbert's, but this is the Herbert's Top Collection Rescue Knife. This is the uh, Herbert's uh, Rescue Knife, the cheaper version. This is the Top Collection. No, still haven't broken all the way in. There we go. This is just awesome. Um, by the way, I don't know about the Normark, but the uh, other Herbert's here is AISI 420 stainless steel. This is uh, 440 stainless. Extremely good grip. No blade play. Window breaker, seat belt cutter, knife with serrated blade to uh, take some rough, uh, I'll cut some rough stuff. This is just a very, very nice knife. I was a little bit uh, afraid of that, that I wouldn't like it back when I bought it, but I have to say I really, really, really love this knife. That's why it is one of my five favorite knives. Then we have the Remington. I just definitely love the uh, brand Remington. Um, uh, yeah, so there's not much to say, just a very cool knife, very very cool, and again, no blade play at all. Uh, I don't remember the steel, but um, I have made a video on, on all of the, these five, also the, the rest of them, but especially these five, so uh, you can always check those videos if you want to. The last one of my five favorite knives, uh, folding knife that I have now, that is, is this Smith & Wesson Overmold uh, MNP, made for police and military, or military and police. That is awesome. Love the brand, quality in this in top, nothing wrong with this. That's just awesome. Normally this is a little bit too modern looking for me, personally. I do prefer, you know, I don't mind to be able to open it with one hand, but you know, the nice uh, look of a wooden grip and all that, I do enjoy this more. 
but except that I have to say this was a, as well one of those I was a little bit afraid I wouldn't keep liking after buying it and I think out of all of these knives on this table this is the most expensive um, but I really enjoy it I don't really get the uh, idea with this type of uh, shape for the blade um, this might be a little bit too pointy uh, but you know then you have something like this that are rounded and, but still pointy this is just the perfect blade for me but I still like both these a lot if I didn't they wouldn't be on my list of course very good quality nothing wrong can remember the uh, steel though but again you can check that in the individual video I actually think the video on this one was my last video before this one so I really really love these fives I love all of these even though some of them are not fully functional anymore some of them are a little bit broken this one is quite but uh I still like them. Now there is three more of these that are actually four more that I really really like as well but they didn't make top five for me. Whoops. <laughs> this one made for the Danish civil defense back in the day. Very cool knife. Uh, have seen better days but it's a very cool knife. I don't think it is something you can see on camera, but uh, the Civil Defense logo, I know that I should probably get focus on. It is actually there, but you can see it. It is very, very worn down. Um, this little Gerber. Very small. Not the smallest, I have smaller knives, but uh, I uh, just enjoy the uh, brand and I, again, this looks a little bit modern for me, but at the same time I actually kind of like the look. My only <laughs> Victorian Hux this far, and I got it very cheap, and there is some scratches and stuff, but except that, it's actually a pretty fine knife. And the logo on it is... Of course, one down, but it uh, is actually there. I think you can just make it out there. The last one I want to mention is probably the smallest on this table. I do have smaller ones, but uh, at least one that are smaller. I have shown that before. But this. Yes, it's very, very small. It's made by Volvo, the uh, car brand. And I haven't seen many of these around. I was, I didn't even know what it was when I bought it. I just saw, hey, that's a knife and I buy it <laughs> back then. Uh, so it was not really because it was a Volvo or something. But since that, I have found out that I haven't actually seen many of these. I have seen my own and one more. And that was somebody that wanted to sell it. And it was a crazy amount because he also said he have, he couldn't find any other of those. Uh, I don't think it is a rare knife by any means, but I haven't seen them around at all. Let's get a closer look at that. I haven't seen them at all. Only mine and one more. And I don't remember if it was exactly the same, but it, it is made the same place. So uh, that's just a pretty cool one. And uh, yeah, the rest of them I just like. But yeah, no, I also this is a very cool mix, but still not the best because I I'm afraid that if holding it and doing something uh, sweaty hands and the, <laughs> there's not a a perfect grip even if I actually try to hold very well on it and pull on it I can still pull it out of my hand. There is not much to hold on to because this is just smooth. It looks good and it works well it's not that but you know i just think it feels too smooth to hold on to for me but it's still a very cool knife works well and looks good for me 
so yeah i just wanted to show my uh, top five and then a couple of the knives here hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching